Good morning, it's February 10th and we're two days away from the Super Bowl. We're gonna go over a brief headline we had today. Oh no, you don't. That's about Russia going to cut its oil output by 500,000 barrels a day next month in response to sanctions. So that's about 5% of January's output. So Brent was up over 2% on the news. And you probably saw that OPEC Plus said they're not gonna do anything to fill that supply side hole. So I'm gonna move over to the dashboard today. I just updated, and what you can see, I just put a few names on here in energy. Obviously, you could put um, the commodities on there. You can go different tabs on Longbow, but just to show you, how, how does some news like that reflect in prices of securities themselves? So the XLE, so that's the S&P 500 energy ETF, you can see is hugging, just really hugging the top end of its trading range. And you can see that the short term has been neutral because we saw energy prices decline a little bit over the last month. You know, it was a warmer winter. Um, there one is, wasn't much volatility, but medium term for the most part here, you've got bullish in some of these names. Um, so you're looking at Exxon here, it's overbought for the range signal. Shell overbought, they had a monster quarter. And same with BP, really hugging the top end of its range. So if you read the news today and you're thinking, gosh, how do I get involved in this energy play? Well, you're probably a little bit late. This was on the KISS view. So now I'm going to take it off the KISS view. What would I be looking for? Because right now, the problem is you've got odds um, that are really stacked against you if you're entering at this point. You really should have been buying you know, before something like this happened. Um, but what I would be doing is looking more for the low end of the range. You can see here on the XLE, that's about 83 and a half. Exxon would be 109 and a half. You've got Shell, so that's the, um, the ADR at 56, roughly and a half. And then, you know, the BP ADR is at 34, spot 25. So I'd be looking for those lower end of the trading ranges and seeing in the next week if those move up. Um, because the other thing, if we turn on KISS view, the other thing I'd be looking for, if you're looking to enter, let's say you didn't really um, get moving on this fast enough, sorry, let me get over here, is that I'd be looking to see the dynamics. So the low end of the trading range here is moving lower on the XLE and same with Exxon, but guess what it's doing in those securities over in trading in the UK? You've got higher low ends of the trading range, so it means it's getting pulled up. Same thing with BP, even though these are the ADRs, and the same end the higher end of all these securities are moving up. So let's take a look at the difference of what does that look like? I'm going to take it off KISS view um, and show you the difference between something that's in a bullish formation and everything's moving up versus something that looks like it's been more widening. You can see here that the range is more widening on, on XOM because it's moving down. The low end of the trading range is moving down, but the high end of the trading range is moving up. So again, you're really close to the top end of that range here with that overbought signal. And then that really looks different from, let's take a look at um, Shell. And you can see here, um, that one, um, it's been moving up over time, the, the low end of the training range, and the high end's been moving up. So we've got a couple overbought signals here. Again, not the day to be doing anything if you missed the boat, um, but definitely keep taking a look at these technicals to see if there's an entry point, if you're interested in owning energy. We think because of China demand and supply side um, challenges, because people really haven't been investing as much as they should have, um, for the last few years, uh, that we will continue to see reasonable pricing on energy. So that's it for today. Have a wonderful weekend, and I'll catch you back on Monday.